Welcome, everyone. Welcome. <laughs> Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Kipa Tesla. Welcome to episode one of Resident Evil Code Veronica X. It, now in HD, as the cover says. Man, we were supposed to do the Dreamcast version of uh, Code Veronica. And it worked until five minutes before the stream. I swear to God, these things just wait to happen. So basically, the first disc won't load. It loads sometimes perfectly and then in the middle of working just starts doing and that's it so in the last moment I had to switch to the Xbox 360 version which is why we're late for 30 minutes but uh, here we are we're gonna do this version everything set screen to the new TV yes I used to have a different TV so I had to like zoom out the picture to see everything so here we are we're gonna do I mean in, in all honesty the Code Veronica X is the complete version I think, I'm not sure why the original CV for the Dreamcast was chopped and it spoiled itself also, like the, the intro animation shows you things you're not supposed to see yet until the end of the game. And there are some bonus cutscenes here, a little changes. It's good that it's widescreen, it's one of the very few ancient games, <laughs> retro games, you know, 4x3 games that actually works pretty good in widescreen, I like that. that you'll never hear me say that, ah, I like this 4x3 game in widescreen, but here we are. How's everyone doing there in chat? Hello, Zombie. Hello, Gavin. Test Day Drive. Lyubka. And Sasha. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Welcome. <laughs> no, wait. How does he say it? Oh, clear. <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get to that. People who have never played this don't know what the fuck I'm doing here, but here we are. Resident Evil. They also changed the announcer. So, after Resident Evil 4, all of these... Uh, the American. Western town, Raccoon City, has been completely decimated due to the T-Virus outbreak that was instigated by the International Corporation Umbrella. Speak up, dude. Claire Redfield, who arrived in Raccoon City to search for her lost brother Chris and a rookie police officer, Leon S. Kennedy, managed to escape from the city. But their ordeal was only a prelude to things to come. So it said that Code Veronica was supposed to be Resident Evil 3, and Resident Evil 3 Nemesis later. was supposed to be a spin-off. But because uh, Capcom had a three-game deal with uh, with Sony, they just turned Nemesis into a sequel, like proper sequel, and Code Veronica got it kind of like a spin-off, but not, because there's Code Veronica, Outbreak, and God knows what, and then Resident Evil 4. <laughs> Your identification number is WKD4496. <sighs> Welcome to your new home. <laughs> Her name is Claire Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris lab facility 10 days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous STARS teams. Did you say teams? Oh yeah, there were two teams. They tried to copy this scene in, the, in one of the movies. It wasn't nearly as cool. <laughs> we'll just destroy our old building, trying to kill this... Not even kill, capture this one person. We're just gonna cut our own building in half. That's the way we do it. Here. In a bow. <laughs> What were they doing there? Like, were they just hanging out <laughs> in the cellar, whatever that is? Did they know she would get there? <laughs> oh, here we go. Against all physics and time and all the forces we know. Faster than a speeding bullet, motherfucker. That's cool. She's she's impervious to, to fire damage. See, not even a scratch. Pfft. Not even going deaf, her uh, ears popping out from that. She's fine. Don't move. He, he was late to the party. That's how he survived. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> Did you dream your own capture? Oh, Redfields. <laughs> it 
Hey, Gavin. Best friend ever. Wow. What's up, Gavin? How are your holidays? I don't think I've seen you since holidays. I've been asking people. It's the 12th, but we have we have extended holidays here in Serbia. You did? Oh, that's adorable, love. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> oh, she remembers when she was not behind bars, I guess. The graphics is phenomenal for something developed in the year 1999. This game was released in 2000 on the, on the Dreamcast originally. Nice. That's the best thing you can do for holidays, really, Gavin. If I were equipped with a lighter, I could see outside. Uh, gotta remember, the buttons are all wrong in this version, I remember that. Ooh, playing manual. Yeah, I'll check that. I, apparently that's the only... You let me into a prison cell with a book, I can get that. But a lighter? Really? <laughs> Use. Here we go. Ah. So you can see that it's basically a sequel to RE2. From the sound effects, they're not the same as... Uh, they're the same as in RE2, not RE3. The, in, the, the interface, inventory, everything. Playing manual. Check all items. When you obtain a new item, always remember to look at it with the check command on the status screen. Remember, it's always best to rotate the item so you can check it from different angles. We forgot to put that in RE2, so we brought it for this game. Try to push objects. If you face an object and then press and hold up... Okay, we know these things, like try to push, use the quick turn, that was... RE3 pioneered that. Map screen, yeah, of course, I don't need you to tell me. Climb, descend, yes. Security boxes. Oh no, not the security boxes. Oh god, no. And even tells you, <laughs> make sure to remo remove all important items. So, what do I want? I want item, lighter. So here's the thing. I wasn't a fan of this game until I played Resident Evil 7 some three years ago. Four years ago, Jesus Christ, time flies. But yeah. I wasn't until I played that. And why? Because that's the game that taught me that lighter doesn't have to be just an item. You can equip it. This game makes you equip it right at the start. But that's the one time I equipped it. And never again. <laughs> and once I started equipping the lighter, it uh, it became a lot easier. Because I missed so many items. You need the lighter to see in the dark areas, as we'll see. Ah. I mean, I totally saw you second ago, but now I'm scared. <laughs> Surprised, even. Perfect. Oh, you can, you can say what it's... You can read what it says there. He must have. This place is finished. I don't might have been a special forces team. But in any case, this prison's been taken over. Troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. But you may as well know, you have no chance of getting off this island. That what makes you just you? sadistic, man. What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. <laughs> Hi, God. This. No, wait, that's Barry. Okay, here we go. The first check on the game, and there are hairs scattered here. I knew about this. This always makes me laugh. I guess they were supposed to write chairs, but that wasn't fixed. So I checked today in, uh, in the Dreamcast version. It says hairs, and all the way to here, it still says hairs. Nobody bothered to spell check this thing. <laughs> A hemostatic capsule is on the floor. It's empty. Well, that's what you get for not bringing George with you. What is this? For washing the prisoners, I guess? Look at that dynamic lighting. This was out of this world in the year 2000. Look at this. The light actually lights the fucking areas. And even though the, it's kind of like fixed cameras, it's on-rail camera, actually. S same, same type as in the Outbreak games. Uh, everything's already... Everything's rendered in an engine, so... <laughs> Uh, everything's rendered in engine, so there's no pre-rendered backgrounds. This is all like 
the game builds for us as it loads. Hey, sir, his eyes are closed. He's bleeding. I'll need hemostatic medicine. It's a list of prisoners. My name is at the end. WKD 4496, Claire Redfield. The escort's name is at the end of the document. Umbrella Medical, Paris. Third Security Unit Leader, Rodrigo Juan Roval. Hell yeah. Okay, Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Oh, wait. Anything else? No files to read? Uh, quick turn. So it's kind of weird. A is run. When, what's menu? Start this menu? Well, I guess someone someone really wanted to screw around with the controls. So wait, wait what what is what is used then? A? No, it's X. This isn't PlayStation, but okay. Um, what do you mean? One ink ribbon. Well, thanks a lot, game. That's not gonna help much. No, we just started the game. Rodrigo, mi amigo, I am gone. What is this? Not gonna talk about the broken light? I mean, I know the base is under attack, but we're not savages, people. Oh, wait, I remember, there's something there. Yeah, I was talking about the light. I was talking about the light, about the lighter being used as a source of light and not just a key item. And this is where it shows. So I think uh, maybe I can even demonstrate. Yeah. Yeah, right here. This is it. Yeah. So this is why it was easier once I played RE7, zombie. I think that's what you asked. Once I played uh, RE7 and started using lighter as the lighter, this is why it was easier. It was easy. I, w I actually found more health and ammo in these dark corners. So what when I played it next time, I think right after RE7, for some reason, I went back to Code Veronica. I don't know how that happened, but... Because I was, like I said, I wasn't much of a fan of Code Veronica. It was a good RE game, but it wasn't... Just like with Outbreak, I was little and not so smart. But coming back and using the lighter as a source of light, you're kind of rich in this game. I missed several herbs. Ooh, vibrations. Several herbs, ammo stacks, stuff like that. Now, am I good in this game? I want. I don't want to brag, because... <laughs> Uh, no, that's the opposite of, of what I just... I, I want to say I don't think I'm really good in this game, but... Um, but there are plenty of ink ribbons. A truck used for transport. Oil is leaking from the crash wreck. A dead body and a briefcase can be seen inside. I remember reading it one on the PlayStation, so I started it on the Dreamcast, beat it one on the PlayStation 2, on the GameCube, and then this version. So that's like three times in 20-something years. It looks pretty good. Ah. Ah. Oh. So they're like pale heads? Not really. They're just that's that's not how it works even with the T virus. It doesn't work like that for Luda. It's like the graveyard in uh, RE3. It makes no sense. Wait, what's the run button? I gotta run from here. <laughs> oh, welcome to the stream, Claire. <laughs> Good to see you, Gunner. I think I can take. I can get out with just one bite. Oh shit, zero bites, bravo me, woo! That was a nice dodge. Left, right. They didn't see. Oh, well, that's a live one. Oh shit! Oh yeah, Steve's haircut is also different in this version. Just keep wasting ammo. Dum dum. Where? Don't you? Who are you? Huh? You're not a zombie. <laughs> Wait right there. 
He must over. be some kind of a red filled cousin. Wait, you you just so you thought the zombie was shooting at you? <laughs> uh, sorry about that little misunderstanding. Sorry. I thought you were another one of those monsters. Shut up. Make one wrong move and I'll shoot. Relax, beautiful. I said I was sorry. My name's Steve. I was a prisoner on this island. And I'm guessing you're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire? Hmm. Nice. No, that's how you said You said I'll Claire. Remember that. Hey, I heard there's an airport around here. Once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. I'll crazy island. Hey, wait up. Oh, he's turning into Sonic the Hedgehog. Run! He'll only slow me down. Damn. I've never figured out his accent. Is it supposed to be Australian? Is it like a Canadian actor with Australian accent? You've taken the handgun. I think she's got the HP again. Did they use the real models in Code Veronica? M93 Air, an Ital Italian handgun, which uses... Huh. Nine millimeters, but... Huh, okay, I, I could swear she was she's using the here we go, don't forget. So both A and X are confirmed. Yes, drunk people program this. Are you alive, sir? How do you aim? R? No. You gotta have a weapon. Better better get ready, find the buttons. So the trigger is aim. So are you gonna bite my foot if I She's looking down, but oh wait, that's not checked. Oh wait, there's something there. <gasps> that's why she was looking. He's not breathing. Okay, no, that's not why. She's just... There's a... Uh, she's trying to... I guess she's looking at the corpse, after all. Never mind. He's not breathing. It's a Canadian voice actor, but who knows what he's trying to talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As a kid, I thought it was supposed to be... Is there an herb there? It's supposed to be Australian or something, but now I'm not sure. It's something... It's... A very ambiguous accent. Where did I come from? What's in here? Cotton Eye Joe, it's been completely nailed down. Impossible to open it. Okay. More ammo anywhere? Let's check stuff. I remember this game being really good for checking corners. For finding shit. Again, back to the lighter story. This is the central gate of the prison. It's locked. A hawk's picture is carved into the hall. Oh, I mean, of course. These people have connection with Umbrella. Why wouldn't they... Uh, why wouldn't they have puzzle locks? Oh, that's the the other side of the crashed bus, of course. Makes sense now. And is that the body she see, she saw on the other side? I don't know. It's not breathing, so fuck it. I mean, as in, leave it alone. Don't really fuck it. <laughs> you don't know where it's been. Ah. Do we get attacked right away? I remember this room too. It's been locked with a padlock. So do I shoot it off? Abandoned materials are piled up here. Nothing useful. Nope. But anyway, uh, I, I, I lost my own tra <laughs> train of thought. So, uh, of course. Anyway, we're looking to get another, at least disc one of the original Code Veronica for the Dreamcast. So that's not off the table. It just won't be in this marathon. But pretty soon, I'm hoping to check that out. Top, top, top. Let's not forget that we've seen that. But take. Fuck. What's the worst that'll happen? Sometime later. Oh my god! If I only hadn't taken that one herb and that one knife. Combat knife. This weapon is a veteran survivor's first choice. No, it isn't. <laughs> not my first choice. Not. Oh, there is a Glock. Okay, uh, who used... Leon used Glock 17, right? Uh, in RE2, I think. Leon uses... That's handgun GL in Outbreak. So check that. What did you say about Ink Ribbon? Use this with a tie -out. Okay, we know that. And the... The funny weed. This is this was made by breeding the herb from Raccoon City. So, yeah, I remember this. It's basically it's telling us it's not the same herb. I wonder if I even have to kill these guys. I, I'm remembering 
different, uh, trying different shit, but, uh... Yes! Yes! I was really, really looking forward to that gamut. I don't know if you were there when I started the stream, but... It, everything went smooth, I set up everything five minutes before the stream, it just... This one decides not to load. Like, it was playing the demo, I was playing the game to try it out. Everything nice, I just stopped making, like, high-pitched noise. And because disc 2 instantly works perfectly, my thought is maybe because when it heats up, the disc might be a little tiny bit damaged when it heats up, it kind of exerb... Ex blah, makes it worse. <laughs> exerb... Ex makes it worse. <laughs> and, uh, and that's why it f fails loading. So when I let it cool a bit and came back, it loaded for two minutes and then stopped in the middle of. So we're looking for another disc one at least before... Holy shit! Holy shit! Do I have a gun? Yes. What's the aim button? It's this. Ah! But that's not a shoot button. Oh, okay. Puke better than, than bite. Half-eaten food items. Look, I can see some sort of uh, ammo there, so... Yeah, there's ammo here. Good thing they're very slow. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I'll come back. I'll come back to check that room later. You good, Claire? Claire, you good? Can't tell if there's anything there now. What are you looking at, Claire? Claire, okay. Yeah. Man, it's. It's a little scary when you don't remember. Prisoner's Diary. May 13th. This room stinks of death. Based upon the information I found, I believe that I'm far south of the equator. Lucky for me that Bob in the bunk below... Bob! <laughs> is one of those interesting types of guys. May 16th. Today, Bob told some crazy story of why he was put this place with me. In this place, I guess? Nobody... Nobody did fucking... Oh yeah, she's she's around. Yupka's around. She's listening in. <laughs> uh, nobody bothered to proofread this. We got hairs scattered everywhere, and he was put this place with me. Bob said that he Bob said that he used to be an attendant of the head of this place. This boss named Alfred supposedly placed him in here because of a tiny little mistake. What does that mean? What's gonna happen to me? May 20th. Without warning, a group of military men took Bob to the building behind the guillotine stand. At midnight, I sneak out of here to see him. I've been hearing that anyone taken to that building never comes back. On top of that, there are these really large plastic bags constantly being removed from that place. I'd better pray for Bob! <laughs> Hello, Terra! Hello! Wow, I haven't seen you in a long time. How are you doing? Is everything okay? How did you spend holidays? Bob! <laughs> May 21st. I was wrong. I shouldn't have gone there. What is going on in there? All I could hear was some insanely creepy laughter and the sound of Bob screaming. I don't know what to do. I can't stop thinking about it. Is that gonna happen to me? I can't let it. I just can't. May 27th. Since my last entry, all of my fellow inmates have been taken to that building. I know that I am next. It's obvious that we were all here to be used as Alfred's guinea pigs. There's no way out. What am I gonna do? What should I do? <laughs> Come on, Bob! <laughs> Come on, Bob! Get here! Get here! Oh, yeah, no, I'm sorry, I got into Steve mode just before stream. So it's kind of... <laughs> Arnold's not at full strength. This favorite game and life issues. Wait, you like, you like Code Veronica? Nice! I'm glad. And sorry about life issues. Life just likes doing that, doesn't he? Started to just get better. Nice! What of this? Code Veronica? Or, or, 
or some Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy VI? <laughs> Remaster? Touch the bed. Why is she looking there? Oh my god, I don't like her looking. They're gonna get up. She knows they're alive. You gonna eat my foot? Sick bastard. Do I dare? Oh, someone's gonna... Someone's gonna just... Burst in, are they? Oh boy, someone's gonna burst in. Yeah, I remember this. They appear to be toiletries. They've all been used and are worn out. Well, at least they're not hairs. Oh, thanks. I'm, I'm glad you will look at me. Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. More bullets. I think it looks wonderful. Because, well, I mean, it looked great on the, on the Dreamcast, but... The European version, obviously, when it's one of those where the 60 to 50 hertz wasn't the best conversion, you can see it kind of jittering. Uh, I remember that from PS2 and GameCube versions as well, the PAL edition, but the Xbox 360 doesn't care. It runs at 60 hertz like it should, so that's great. My mental health doctor left four months ago without refilling my meds, so seven weeks of depression meds lasted four months, but I was going through fits of happy to crying to not wanting to get out of bed. Just barely getting back to normal shit. What do you mean he left four months ago? Didn't transfer you to another doctor? Take the and the bullets. I think they're about to bust in, are they? Are they? No? Oh then never mind. Sir, I kinda feel like you're gonna get up later. Claire looking at you. I mean Claire looking at you is kinda a dead giveaway. Fuck it. You want me to take the bullets, don't you? When I take the bullets, all hell's gonna break loose, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, two can play a dead game. Well, actually, no. Wait, wait, wait. I have a better strategy. Fuck all this. Uh, maybe if I move, it's all over anyway. Wow. Well, you don't need a doctor like that, honestly. 30 bullets. Jesus, I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> I forgot something, but not everything. Oh, he's got guns. Well, I gotta kill you then, sir. Fuck, bite, bite, bite. Because I want to go into the corner where they can't... Ah! No. I need your guns. Maybe I shouldn't have killed them all. But too late now for that. Sir, please, I mean, oh. Okay, someone who's not him is still alive. Oh, gee, there he is. That's the crawly. Stop that. Yeah, I think I could have avoided them, pretty sure. But I need these. Should have just grabbed them and escaped. And there goes my inventory. Oh, just the three of them? I thought this guy would be the biggest problem, but I guess not. The other guy just died from boredom. That's okay, I don't mind. So, there's nothing here. We got the bullets, I guess. That's it. You, sir? You're still suspicious. You good, game? Okay, let's see if those guys... Can you... Oh, you can, you can use these? Semi-automatic pistol, which has a large size special magazine. This handgun enables precise rapid shooting with little recoil. All right. Stop that. Oh, yeah, and you can do that. I forgot. Uh, how do you zoom with these buttons? That's kind of backwards, but we'll do it. Is this supposed to be like a calico? Calico, whatever you pronounce that. Fuck it, let's go. Claire, let's go. See where... Um, how far I can get with two pistols. Eat lead, motherfucker. Uh. Stop that! I said eat lead! 
You, she can shoot at two foes at the same time. I remember liking that a lot. This toilet has some rather disgusting stains. A horrible smell lingers. Let's... Let's make them come this way. I feel like one of you is still crawling. Yes, that's what I need. Come this way. The opposite of West, what Wesker would want you. It seems that someone didn't finish their soup. It's still a bit warm. Is that a map? Yes! Nice. Let's get out of here. Yeah, there they are. Okay, okay. Do I have time to check this? Nothing useful here. Run! Run! There was a guy here, though. Is he still there? Nah, it's just the two of them. Just the two of them. Help me, lighter. Oh, there you go. I would never see that without the lighter. Use it now? Okay, so before outbreak, we got it here. There you have it, folks. Combine. We're gonna do the double greens again. Because I don't think... I think the first item box is still ways... This is a mixture of two green herbs. Yes, we know that. There you go. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You guys both there? Let's see where they are. I want to take another round. Nope, they're in the opposite size. Never mind then. Goodbye. I don't think there's anything else there. Anyway. I already have more than I would without using the lighter, so... And I wish they used that more. You know, aside... Ooh, shit, I don't like that. Yeah, you know what's, what's there? What could be growling? I think they, they won't attack yet, right? Abandoned materials are piled up here. Nothing useful. Somewhere here... Yeah, somewhere here there's a... Something was different in either the beta version or the original. Like one of these drainage pipes were broken. Oh shit, is it... Yeah, it's not gonna happen until I go there, I think. Right? Yeah, that, 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 there it is. That's what I meant. Something was different about this on the Dreamcast version, but I can't remember. I was really hoping to play that tonight to see those ver differences. But now this will be fresher in my memory, where our collective memory, when we get to, when we get to there, to the Dreamcast version. There is a big hole in the wire netting. There is a blood stain under the eaves. There is a clear on the ground. Okay, so that's not gonna happen yet. It's been locked from the other side with a padlock. Can't be opened from this side. Well, that's kind of logical. That's how padlocks work. Unless you can, you know... If, unless the mesh is big enough for your... Um, not even... Fuck that. I'm gonna take this. I love that it can shoot at two people at once. At two zombie people. Oh, he's dead. What, what were you aiming at? It looked like she was aiming at... I guess she does that for a second after they fall. It's completely nailed down. Apparently, a dust box. <laughs> well, that's the best comment ever in the residue. Apparently, a dust box. <laughs> I think that's the other side. Oh, Jesus Christ, up there. It's the other side of that door. Yeah, we've seen. Look at the map. It's very pretty. Very pretty. So that's the prison. They have, so <laughs> they have a prison <laughs> for these people with one whole prison cell. <laughs> oh boy! I guess the the other ones are under a, a a pile of rubble or something. So it's time for the security box. You know what that means? Wait, change what? X to change. Ah, that's pretty cool. You can go room by room. They don't have names like an outbreak, but still. You can check each room individually. Does that... Does this game show items on the map? I forgot. You good game? This switch controls the outdoor shutters. Push the switch. Yes. 
appears to be locked. Must release the lock first. Okay, uh, if you say so, we'll do it. Do what? Oh, wow, already dead? Good for you, sir, good for you. I remember there being an explosive barrel somewhere here, but I can't remember where. Hello there. You good? You seem a little troubled. Look at that lighting, it's amazing. Put yourself in the year when this was released, it's... Oh yeah, I don't know if it's a thing on... Uh, on older versions. I really don't know. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Here we go, it's time. You just go in order. That was accidental, but there you go. Oh, no need to deposit since it's not metal. Of course. Silly me. So, wait. <laughs> I would always fail at that. There you go. You gotta... That's, that's pretty cool. You gotta take care of the personal item as well. What the fuck? What did I forget? Okay, what what's the last metal thing I have? Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Oh, didn't I? I guess. Oh, I, I swapped it. Silly me. There you go. We're good. We're good. You can examine that. No, I need my lighter. Construction materials are piled up. Well, they seem to be. Constructing a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't notice that. A lot of construction materials on this. You know how they call it? <laughs> what they call it in uh, that parody I love? Resident Evil Code Fuanchi? <laughs> Rock piece of crap island. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to do it from both sides. It's a cool but annoying mechanic, really. User's Manual 3D Duplicator's User Manual Our new product, the 3D Duplicator, consists of two parts. 3D Scanner Portion This portion scans a 3D object. Simply place the material that you want to have scanned onto the tray of the scanner. The scanned object will be processed into 3D data, which will be transferred to the Duplicator Portion. Duplicator Portion If you place the material you wish to have converted, on the machine, you can begin conversion based on the 3D data that was created by the 3D scanner portion. The conversion will be executed with complete data accuracy. The result will be an object precisely true to the original. Yeah, it's an interesting idea, but maybe this would be better a better uh, control panel of the 3D scanner. There's an activation switch. Push the switch. Uh, I don't think anything will happen. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's not metallic. Activating the enhanced 3D scanner. Please place the material you wish to have scanned on the scanner portion of this machine. Blip, blip. Yeah, I need to put something there. I remember some kind of emblem. An auto duplicator. If the materials are set, it can restore the ob restore. <laughs> so basically, it's a 3D printer. Way ahead of time. Nope. I just want to see if it's going to be on the map. Nope. Oh yeah, but uh, that's metallic, isn't it? Here's these rounds, you can't use them. Yes, B.O.W. gas rounds. I don't know if you know, fun fact, the B.O.W. gas rounds are filled with uh, P. Epsilon gas. These anti-B.O.W. gas bullets are filled with gas. That doesn't say much, but yeah. Uh, they're filled with P. Epsilon gas from RE2. Remember how I like that part where if you do, if you release the gas in scenario A, scenario B gets a little diff more difficult. Ivies are poisonous, liquor is evolved, all that shit. But uh, but uh, here you only have three of these in the entire game, and what they do is cut a boss's HP to I think half or something. 
So you basically want to save them for the three of the hardest bosses to use them efficiently. I see people waste them on like the tyrant right away, which is just, it doesn't do anything after the first one, that's it. If you go through metal uh, detector and it goes off, all you have is weed, then toss it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not me officer, wait, Leon's my friend, he's gonna vouch for me. So there's nothing there. I'm looking for hidden item. I will explore here way more than in the first three REs because I played this way less and I want to get into detail. Oh, here we go. This is where the scene where Sexy Wesky gets his nickname. Facts on the facility access application. Access? Access. Be sure to verify the content of the following facility access application form and add the applicant's name to the expected visitors list. Chief Prison Guard Room. Paul Steiner. I hereby apply for access permission for prison area D. Details follow. Visitor's name, Carl Grisham. Purpose of entry, carrying in the following materials. 1. New product sample from Metal Industries Co. TG01. 2. Various daily commodities ordered by the prison. Toiletries and hairs? Note. 1. We'll use a transportation truck. 2. TG01 sample will be stored in a designated briefcase. You file the facility. If anybody finds this, <laughs> it'll tell them exactly what to do. Oh wait, I forgot the I forgot the heating again. I no, I I didn't forget it. I didn't turn it on at all. <laughs> so it's not like low, it's off. One, two, and one on Osferatu. Yeah, that's what I heard. Also, also yeah, well, that's what I heard. That's what I do, but uh, you know those like different death cutscenes depending on how you kill Nosferatu? I think I only once succeeded killing it with a knife. Management documents are scattered here. Actually, let's check the achievements for this game. I never got everything. Here we go. You can tell when I played it. Once in 2014 and then again. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, I stopped for some reason. I got bored. Or not, yeah. December 2014, December 2014, then May 2015, yeah. You can tell where the game got tiring for me. And then in 2020, the the, the, the silly achievement, just go back and get, <laughs> get go back as Steve and have Claire uh, rip him a new one. So this is for battle game, I guess. Get the rocket launcher and get the linear launcher from battle game. Yeah, these are like, 150g each wow all right i wonder what's this sound the keyboard is just typing by itself yes you gotta knife him in the heart there's a different one if you s kill him with a sniper in the heart and there's the most let's say the most boring one well they're all interesting but let's say the most boring one is, is just kill him with any weapon anyhow security monitors are lined up here these may have been used to monitor the prisoners. Okay, may have been used. Never mind. I guess. Oh my God! Chris Redfield. What are you doing here? Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah, your siblings. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? Who, the guy? I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Hey, David. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey. I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. No, he can't. No, yes, he can. No, he can't. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Oh, he'll come so Please. fast. I know. <laughs> what was that all about? Well, they are moving their lips. That was also, like, way ahead back then. There we go. That's what I want to duplicate, right? Take the hawk emblem. 
and we needed to pass the metal detector. An emblem card with a hawk symbol. It appears to be made of pure gold. Wait, is there? Is that? Does the metal detector detect gold? Let's find out. And we do know. Is that a file? No, it looks like a file. The email to Leon has already been sent. So why Leon? Why not directly Chris? I guess we would get. We wouldn't get the best. Uh, cut best uh, part of Code Quanchi if it weren't Leon. A lock release, yes. You know what? Nah. I was like, I'm gonna save here, but nah. Does Code Veronica have better grades if you save less? I can't remember. The door is being held by something. Can't be opened from this side. Oh yeah, this the cool addition is you can use the right the right stick click for the inventory. No, nope, they didn't need to do that, but thank them. The one thing that's missing though, so on the Dreamcast, you could press, pull the left trigger and press the option button for uh, for actual pause that stops the timer and everything. Like if you gotta go out for a while, you don't you can't save and you don't want to mess up your grade. But for some reason, they took that out here. I think this freezes the game totally, but I don't know why they would, because. With any other button, if I press the option button, it'll open options. Only with what would have been the pause, nothing happens. I wonder what Chris would have thought of Steve if they had met. Oh, they would be the best. They would be best buddies. <laughs> Two. Brainy gentleman. The free save when you get... when you. Oh, I don't... You don't change discs in this version, right? Please deposit any metallic items you have. And I'm pretty in sure the security box. This is metallic, isn't it? Wait. You know what? Hold on. No. Is it metallic? Yeah. Weed's cool, but battle nah. <laughs> it is okay yeah so like i said i'm not good at code veronica like i am at the uh, first three games excluding the chris scenario <laughs> and r1 obviously but <laughs> one time in 2018 david came over just for like a cup of coffee and by the time we just chatted and had coffee he finished fucking code veronica that's how good he is at this game Wait, I, I do want the thingy. So he just like sped, sped ran through the game. Is that a word now? It is. <laughs> well, I, I just looked at it. Holy shit! Already Antarctica? How did you do it? Yeah, we'll get another one. It's not all on your shoulders, brother. <laughs> all right, we just need the. Uh, Plot device. Key item. Can I take the original now? No, it's keeping it. It's like, fuck you. 3D data transmission complete. Oh, that's fuck you. I keep your item. <laughs> Alright. Nothing metallic. Nothing metallic. Charge! Charge! Oh, they're not gonna... Oh, that's for later. Okay. When you do what's expected from you, that's when it's gonna hit the fan. No, I mean... I just wanted to exchange them game. Can I use it as a as an inventory buffer? I guess not. Fuck the knife. There, there you go. That's it, right? So long. I think they're gonna bust out now outside. What your speedrunning ability yeah, coming behind them. Look at this. I came so fast, his head fell off. Welcome, Senpai. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you, buddy. Are you up and awake or are you dying? And there's a guy inside. Oh, why wouldn't there be guys inside, guys outside, guys left and right? Holy shit, can I shoot the thing? No. Oh, it worked. 
Ah! Wait, you're supposed to be burning. I like how they fall down in Kodoraika. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Hola, homies. I'm awake, about to eat and pass out after a bit. Alrighty. Bon appetit, my man. Is that a metallic item? Oh my! Extinguisher. Extinguisher. The brother of the Punisher. Wait, wait, wait! My new favorite thing in Cold Veronica? The lighter. Yeah, David, that was... I was telling the story at the beginning how I didn't like this game. <laughs> I didn't like it as much as the others. I liked it. I liked it as approximately as much as Outbreak. Aww. Until... I played RE7 and started thinking about the lighter as a source of light and not just a key item. And it jumped in my eyes just as much as Outbreak did almost. Something seems to have been tied up here. Something? <laughs> Something? Yeah, it's probably a hair. They bleed a lot. Fresh blood is stuck to the wall. A person might have been tied to the pillar. Might have. Here we go, the red fields. What a brainy bunch. <laughs> Seriously, so that, that that's one of the changes too, huh? Oh, because I don't have room for that? Is it... Oh, yeah, wait, 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 wait. I can, I can still save this. It's not all over. It's not over until the power goes out. <laughs> so you think they're not... Sorry, I didn't read that. The lightning effects from the lighter aren't near as good as... In older versions. Okay, okay, Please yeah. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Yeah, they ported the game basically to empty framework. The same engine they used for RE5, I think. And some other Capcom games in the time. Before they, uh, before they invented the RE engine, they used empty framework a lot. I think some Street Fighters ran in it. But then they retired empty framework when... R when RE7 came out, I think. It was the first game to use the RE engine. And it's glorious. I didn't take the key again. Yep, it's okay. Oh, we got all the time in the world. You gotta like about... Uh, you know, you gotta like that... So, Xbox 360, obviously... Well, I'm playing this on Xbox One, not even on the 360. With backwards compatibility. But, uh... Regardless, these consoles have... Uh, hard drive and you can feel that the anim the loading animation is still there but it's it's just smoother and faster padlock key a simple key a padlock may be open with this maybe doesn't have to the items are gorgeous though okay thank you get out what about this one you can extinguish fire with this oh there's a whole instruction manual it's still a little blurry but you can see shit Okay, it's time to charge! Oh. Yep, here we go. Oh, I think I can do it! I did it before! Oh! <laughs> Claire! Wait, I forgot the. God damn it. Okay, I hope they reset at least a bit. Oh, someone's having a nice meal, I guess. Kill them or not? It would be nice if I could skip killing them. Let's see. There you go. Shortcut. You no longer need to use this key. Discard the padlock key. Yes! Charge! Yeah, there you go. You don't need to kill them, I think. I have some memory of the game. Moments that were big for me. Like, oh my god, I just avoided this guy. Oh, bon appetit, sir. Be a pacifier. <laughs> G 
Gamut was asking for you, Lupka. Wait, did you did you go somewhere? He said Lupka would like to see Steve and Alfred and Did you see Steve? Did you see uh Leonardo DiCaprio? <laughs> oh, I didn't make the Pka. I thought there was more ammo here, but I guess I was wrong. Wait, apparently I think apparently apparently a dust box again. <laughs> No, don't mind me, sir. Woohoo! <laughs> that was that was close. Ah, uh, you're missing some Hollywood-style acting here. Oh, I love this dual guns. They didn't use this concept again in a in a classic RE game. Well, there were no classic RE games. There was just outbreak in this. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, they die awfully fast. It's kind of scary, even. Down, boy. Is there damage drop off, though? I'm not sure. So, one is left only. Are you crawling, sir? Can I get some assistance? Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know. I thought you were there. I lied to Gamut. I'm sorry, Gamut. I would never lie to you. So, what the fuck is that zombie doing? No, I don't even see. Oh, okay, he's behind the wall, I bet. I bet he's behind. Oh, there we go. You want to go into fire yourself, or should I put you? He's dead, Jim. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, I thought you can't burn yourself. Extinguisher. <laughs> it was. It was. The briefcase. That's what I need. Yeah, that's why I couldn't take the briefcase. I was like, did I miss something? Check. A case made of metal. Metal. The case seems to be closed. Maybe if you examine it closely. Oh, I don't know. Maybe if I look right here, maybe kind of zoom and look. Oh, there's a button. Will you push it? Yes. Is that a secret file? Oh my god, it's a secret file. TG-01 was inside the briefcase. There was also an explanation document for the special alloy TG-01. TG-01, product description. Thank you for your continued support and for using our products. This time we have gathered our most advanced technologies and have succeeded in creating the unique anti-metal detection alloy TG-01. TG-01 features? Why is that a question? 1. Cannot be detected by any metal detectors. 2. Cannot be pictured by rentgenography at the immigration check. And 3. Lightweight, yet durable. We plan to develop various weapons utilizing this innovative new alloy. We have enclosed a sample for you to review. We look forward to hearing from you regarding possible business opportunities. Metal Industries Co. Chief Development Planning, Carl Redhill. Is that our cousin? Like we're Redfields and he's a Redhill? I think with the lighter I should be able to find more shit here. Kind of remember finding ammo or something in the truck. But I might be crazy. I answered your... Oh, you mean you... Okay. To, you replied to the SMS I sent. Yeah. Yeah, I turned off everything because I had to put the phone on another place. I didn't want it interfering. Interference, that's the word. Interfering with uh, the laptop Wi-Fi, just in case. It doesn't happen, but I don't want to have multiple Wi-Fi antennas in the room while I'm, uh, while I'm streaming. All right, that's it. They're all dead, Jim. Charge! Ah! Wait. Well, there they are. They're not even eating anymore. Well, that's just rude, guys. Newly developed special alloy. Cannot be detected by a metal detector. Alright, what about empty extinguisher? Yeah, that's we're gonna need that later, I remember. Oh, we got a raid? We got a raid? We got a raid from Sexy Wesky. 
Welcome to the stream, everyone. Welcome to Code Veronica X, now in HD, <laughs> on Xbox 360. How's everyone doing? Thanks for the raid, Wesky. The Force. Wesky really likes the Force. So that's your new game, huh? Can I uh, avoid this guy? Nah. Die. Oh, they, they really die fast. That guy's dead. Charge! Oh, can I avoid the dogs? Yes! Yes, okay. I found new ways to save ammo. And... Uh, and patience as well. Hello, Wesky. Hello. Oh, that I, I just I just realized Please hippie and Wesky kind of rhymes. The hippie Wesky show. Box. Uh, no, 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 no. I want to put everything. Fuck the knife. I'm not even. I'm not ever gonna use the knife. I am no Wesky. Oh wait, the, the lighter. Always forgetting the lighter. There you go. You took my lighter. You happy? Savage game. Alright, it's time to put my TG-01 in my early 3D printer. Zim, 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 zim. We did it. Duplication complete. Please send all tips to <laughs> Wesky at Umbrella Co. Oh, uh, yes, take it. Special alloy emblem. So it's not golden anymore. I guess it detects gold, but not this. A picture of a hawk is carved on it. It's made of newly developed alloy TG01. Okay. It's identical, save for the color. Yeah, Code Veronica X HD. I'm sorry, now in HD, as the cover says. Oh shit, oh, that's what I was afraid of. No, run, 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 run. If you're fast enough, maybe they can't grab you. Uh, oh shit. Fuck you. Oh, my shoulder. You bit my shoulder. Yes, I will, if you let me. Mm. Sure, I'll take that, and I'll take that, and that, and also that. That's all the things I need. Bye. Oh, my shoulder. Oh, wait, I forgot my lighter. Ah. Bye. <laughs> you like Code Veronica, huh? I like it too now. <laughs> I didn't. Until I played RE7 and learned to do this. It changed it a lot for me, honestly. Oh, wait, is it here even? Oh, indigo blue. No, no, not there. We don't need to go there. Oh, my shoulder. It hurts. <laughs> of course you did, Wesky. Of course. I said recently, when I grow up, I'm going to be like Wesky and knife everything in the, in the classic. Oh, you'll find out. You'll find out what it stands for. I don't want to spoil it. It's, so this is the first game where we get any insight into the founders of Umbrella Corporation, Dupka. And I, I talked about Spencer. I love Oswald Spencer. Ozzy, as I call him. Nah. Well, kinda is, but... Oh, shit. What the hell happened? I was gone for two minutes. Okay, that's all we need, I think. They're all dead. Is that Jim? This is the central gate of the prison. It's locked. A hawk's picture is called in the hall. Whoa! Are we in luck? I happen to have a special alloy hawk emblem. Here we go. Vibrations. Roop -toop. Roop -toop. Oh, not, not here yet. I'm sorry. Oh, really? Damn, Wesky. I don't know what to say except bravo. I did see you in action on RE2 and uh, that's badass. In my eyes, that's badass. <laughs> the door has been completely destroyed. Well, too bad. It was a good door. 
I cannot proceed from this side. You know, you could totally climb this little SUV, but she says no. Remember those extra herbs I talked about that I only found with the uh, lighter? I think one of them is somewhere here, even. Yeah, there it is. I would never see that without the lighter. Is it just the green? No reds. It would be nice to find the red. Oh, there's some ammo. Excellent. I am pleased. You cannot proceed from any side. I don't know how she doesn't burn her... <laughs> how she doesn't burn her fingers, but... Let's not ask too many questions. The entrance has been completely sealed. It's impossible to pass through here. So what was there, actually? Whoop, whoop. That's the RE1. Oh, you can zoom even further. Oh, nice. Look at that, Gamma. Jesus Christ. You can un you can unzoom? You can zoom less than, uh, than it is? Cool. Prison is downstairs, so we can change the maps. Nice, 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 nice. You can go, whoa, extra. All right. Da. Okay, comrade, comrade sent by Trash TV. I will speak with a Serbian accent now. Because you wanted that. It is your fault. <laughs> oh, not with this busted shoulder. I shouldn't push these boxes. Why are there boxes here in the first place? Oh, I forgot the... Uh, I forgot the herb. The herb. I'll... I'll come back for it later. Any more herbs here? No? Terminator climbing. Not yet. Hi, guys. What's up? You know any good places to hang out here? Comrades. Don't be angry. No, no touch. No touch. I said no touchy. Oh shit. Maybe for these these doggos. Oh God! There we go. Good puppy. Down, down, boy. It seems to have stopped on a lower floor. I, I can't. I can't use the elevator. Man, I'm I'm pulling towards Russian. <laughs> oh, my shoulder. My shoulder is killing me. It's securely locked. I can't open it. I can't open it. I don't know what Serbian what a Serbian speaker would say. Oh Jesus fucking Christ. Ah, nobody said anything about more dogs. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. <laughs> I guess the little puppy was sleeping. No touchy. I'm ready for you, bitch. Fucking backwards buttons, whoever made this. Hello, puppy. That goes very slow. I'm sorry, this is very slow. There you go. There you go. You dead, puppy. You dead. <laughs> this is just... Did you just do it? You know what happens if you start, if you put fucking <laughs> monkey rap in my head, it's, that's it, love. It's, 
it's your own fault for anything that's about to happen. Oh no, not yet, not yet. <laughs> it all started with a simple okay. Locked from the other side, all right. So we got those there, I'll take them later. I really need a, an item box, I could really go for an item box. This shoulder is killing me from carrying all this shit. Let's go here first. A card reader, silver in color. Nothing there, nothing there. The knob is missing. I can't open it. I can't open the door! No hidden health items, no hidden ammo, that's good. Stationery and related supplies. There's nothing useful here. Well, you say that. I could use a stationery. Is it time for the biohazard? Nothing useful here. What about here? Anything useful in this one? No. Do I check that first or do I go forward? I can't remember which I should do first. Oh, there's something there. Is it is something going to happen when I take that? Not yet. Oh, don't lock me out. Don't lock me out. Memo on the past number. The emergency door lock system in the biology experiment room can be released with the four-digit pass number. I hope you haven't forgotten about it already. I have just received an order from the system administrator requesting us to change the pass number periodically. What bothers me is that you often lose important memos, pass numbers, or even chemicals. So, in an attempt to solve that problem, I came up with an idea. You know the red human skeleton picture at the back of the biology experiment room? I have decided to use the number sign on the picture as the pass number. If you happen to lose the memo, just look at the picture. Well, I don't think you would ever need to use the emergency pass number anyway, but just in case, now you know. Take it easy, Mr. Careless. Please don't lock me out. Okay, okay, I'm gonna take the bow gun. Don't fuck with that. Oh, it's a blood stain. Were they conducting animal experiments here? Oh, humanity. What's that on the wall? Hmm. Emergency. Door lock system activating. The door says bio experiment room. Abnormal air. I can't enter the pass number. <laughs> Is that a new ad lib? Oh shit. I didn't check, man. I wish I did. What is going on? I've never, I've never behaved like this. With the... I can't get the door open. Oh shit. And I can't see shit now. There appears to be no one around. A red picture is hanging in the back. I can't see the number from here. So that's it, yeah. Nothing useful. Run, Comrade Claire. We need to get out of here. There is a terrible mutant around. I don't want to stick around to see what it is. Run! Hazard contamination detected. Level 3. Emergency shutters will close. Wait, you waited for her? You waited for her to get out to do that? There goes the other shoulder. <sighs> that was close. Alright, Zamboni. I shall. Because I love you that much. I would never heal at Yellow Caution, but here we go. Yeah, just for Zamboni. Um. Fine and dandy. Ha! And there was a red herb there. Well, now you're just punishing me, game. No, because... Wait. Walk... Walk better. Silver card reader. Okay, there are two doors. 
Let's get into this one first. Wait, wait, wait. That really means means Alexia is not gonna bitch slap Wesky. Oh, security related documents are filled here. Filed. There's nothing useful here. Oh shit. Oh, almost didn't notice it. Do I even want to kill him? Uh, Woohoo! I want to empty these and be done with them. Just one guy. Just one guy, Claire. Just this guy. Yeah, that guy. The, the guy that's moving. More of them? Really? Okay. He's also dead. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. A map of this building is shown on the monitor. It seems I could print it out. Print out the map. Yes. Oh, that's cool. You even see it being printed out. That's... That's amazing. Training facility map. Yes. Take the key first. Alright, zombie. I don't know what you're saying, but I'll listen. I'm glad you know this game. There's a lot of people here who know this game, so that's pretty good. Makes me feel more safe. It's secure with a simple lock. Well, too bad I'm not the master of unlocking. Is there anything useful next to this guy? Can I... I want to try... Yeah, that. Yeah, there you go. Ah, nice. So we know that's there. Give me back the lighter. I love this lighter now more than anything. <laughs> it's a very cool, very cool mechanic. Quite a mess here. There's nothing useful here. Were you from New York? <laughs> hey, I'm driving here. I'm walking here. Lockers. Not even a comment on the lockers, Claire. Come on. Your brother taught you better than that. It's a storage warehouse. It's locked. It seems I need a special key to release the lock. So that's what he's talking about. That key. Okay. <laughs> okay, play like hippie. I don't know what you're talking about, zombie. So I'm just like looking for a key here. Probably the keys in another, in that other room. Remember, I'm not as good at this game as the others. Jeez, sir, I'm trying to hold a lighter here. Do you mind? Oh, he minds. There's another one. There's at least one more, okay. Oh, a vending machine. I'm not thirsty right now. Wait, I'll talk about that in a moment. Oh, hello there. Well, that was a short party. Hello. Whoa, that was close. Whoa, not my foot. Leave my foot alone. Oh. At least he didn't hurt my shoulder. There's nothing of interest. Nothing of interest? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, we don't want to take that either. So we have three stacks of this. Yeah. Me too, man. Me too. Isn't that wonderful? That's a fourth stack of bowgun arrows. I gotta remember where these are because I don't want to pick them up until I get to the first... To the first uh, item box. Sir, you... Uh, you good? Five stacks of arrows. Wow, game. You're not, like, you're not joking here. We're getting serious. What about the other side? So those two lockers are openable. Let's check the lockers here. A vending machine. It's broken. It says gumballs. But here it says Valentine's Rosso. I, I'm guessing Jill Valentine and Daria Rosso <laughs> because of RE3. But who knows? They like to put weird shit in games. I guess that's it. Let's go. Uh, there's there's a sauna somewhere here, I remember. Nice detail with the door. You can see the signs of struggle. Oh, wait. 
Rich bastards are having a bath here. Oh, boy. Okay, there's several of them, apparently. And they can climb stairs. That's right, it doesn't... Yeah, it's like a grenade launcher. That's right, David, I totally forgot. You're right. That's what I'm gonna do. Hold on, I'll be right back, zombie. I mean, the zombie on the in the game, not not our zombie. Yes, that's right. You do, it's not limited to 18 like an RE2. So this guy has some. Yeah. But wait, do I want to do that? Because I do want to turn some of them into explosive. Ah, I'll take some of them. There you go. This... I'm not a fan of this. Uh, this... Of this... Um, Bogan. Bogan is the, the word I'm looking for. Really not a fan of it. I like the one in RE2 better. Come on! <laughs> what about what about a combo of of Alfred and Arnold? <laughs> Come on! No, that's not working. That's just disgusting. Ew, Claire! <laughs> Pretty nice thing to try shitty graphic. What is? You know, it works better with her brother, but I guess we can do it. Come out, zombie. I, I want to see the... Uh, the I want to see the steam. I want to see you steam. Oh, yeah, we're going... We're going full R now, are we? Hey, zombie. Steam out a little. <laughs> That's one of my favorite. Um... There is water dripping. It might have been used often until recently. Well, you would think that from this guy. Huh. That's my favorite Arnold one liner. Steam out a little. Come on, stupid Lida, I need to see you. You're not stupid, I like you, Lida. This device seems to control water current. Stop the water current. Yes. You can mix the explosive one with... Oh my god, this is fucking perfect. There's no response. It seems to be broken. That where there should be a circulation pipe. Was this... 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 Style here is very suspicious. Was it supposed to be another switch? A valve is attached to the water pipe. Shut the valve. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you do. Johnny be good. <laughs> Johnny be lewd. Stupid water. Go underground. Oh, there's something sparkling there. What is sparkling? Hello there. Key with dog. Is that the key that you told me about, zombie? A small key made of steel with the word storage. Oh, that's pretty good details. Look at that. It's like they really cleaned up this version. I mean, I did try. I did see the Dreamcast version just like an, two hours ago. It was pretty pretty nice, but they really cleaned it up. It's it's like That's what I said. This is one of the better remasters of a game not just resident evil it's probably i would say yeah it, it's the it is the best resident evil remaster in my eyes better than the re0 and re1 remake remasters which they kind of <laughs> fucked up in my eyes clear is wet <laughs> this device seems to control the water current it's broken okay we know that now come on clear get out of here Run clear. A sauna. There is a lot of hot air inside. There's a lot of hot air inside you, narrator person. There's nothing here. You steam. Well, we steamed out a little so we can get out. Get out now. <laughs> Thanks, zombie. Okay, there's nothing left here. 
What is that sound? Why is that light keep swinging left and right? What is pushing the light? It makes no fucking sense. Come on. Get out. We're really gonna have fun with this game, are we? Like four years ago, five years ago, I wouldn't be looking forward much to streaming this. But now that place has gone to... Uh, the RE2 remake, or even worse, RE3 remake. You don't need this key anymore. This guy, the storage key. Yes. There we go. We got some bogan powder. What's a bo what's bogan powder, you ask? Well, dear viewer, bogan powder. This is gunpowder for a bogan arrow. Now oh, that's a lot of heavy words combined. Oh, that's just badass, David. Thanks for. I I don't think I would have remembered to try that. That is pretty cool. You can just. So we got we got it from the original RE1 where you can't take out the grenades from the bazooka, grenade launcher, whatever, exchange them with others. We got to the point where you can s stick like 120 arrows into a bow gun and then just take out some, put gunpowder on them and stuff them back in. That's 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 how the game that's how games progress. That's the evolution of video games. And that's why we love this. <laughs> one fourth of the game in that speed i think this is gonna be yeah about four episodes if not even more because i did say earlier i will explore more than the first three games because i know those games pretty well this one i know but not as well you know take the bow gun arrows well that's pretty cool you can take all of them yeah we did that and there's a green herb there nothing there yeah i gotta go I gotta go find me one of those item boxes kids talk about. Red herb. It's time to meet the big man. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be amazing. Lupka, are you ready? In a minute. Get away, no touchy. We said no touchy. Can I, can I ignore that guy? Maybe he'll despawn later. I know some people despawn. Some people zombies. Can I? Ah, shit. I know you can kind of just ignore them, but fuck it. Die, bastard, die. Okay, I wasted some ammo, but that's okay. That's pretty much okay. What about the lighter? No, don't go. <laughs> Hold on, I'll try. I think it's about to happen. For the tyrant, huh? Hmm. Well, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I will uh I'll I'll blow one uh, BOW uh grenade run into him. I think it has, cuts his HP into half. And then just finish him with the grenades or this. I also use the explosive arrows for um, for bander snatches a lot. How many bullets? Three left. Okay. There you go. Oh shit, more? Nobody said more dogs! They really like doing that, surprisingly like that. In the face. Wow, that's... That's a tough bitch. There you go. But he has knife. <laughs> no thanks, zombie. I'll leave that to you. No game, don't do that. I don't know why he's doing that. I've never seen it do that. Do that. Do that. Oh, there's that's the main gate I think I couldn't use before, is it? Nah. Is it though? Holy shit, it could be. Nah, it's, that's not it. That can't be it. it can it? Where where is this? Passage? Yeah, that. Okay, yeah, I think it is. It would have led here. There you go. Huh. 
No! Here, wait, 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 wait. You'll see him. Don't go, don't go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Nothing major will happen in the wild, so after this. Is it right away, David? I guess we'll have to clip him for Lupka. I thought he, he would spawn right away. Spawn, I mean... Is it when you come out of the bathroom? God damn it. Yeah. Yeah, I would have to take the case and exit or something. I know when you do something, it triggers the cutscene. David, zombie. If you know, <laughs> if he's not there in like two minutes, just I'll, I'll release Lupka. Let her go. No room? Yeah, no room. So I need to pick up that to trigger Alfred, right? Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I know that save room, but uh, not yet. So is that gonna help? Can you wait a minute, Lupka? I think we're here. You can't miss this. If you miss this... You lived your life for nothing. <laughs> Squeak. Ah, oh, I love this save theme. I love it so much. There we go, we're gonna get rid of some shit. We don't need this for now, and this for now. Three slots enough. Charge! All right, I, I think it's gonna be okay. As soon as I take the the case, that should have the man of the house appear. Greet us. So I've been playing what for an hour and a half. By now, David would have finished the game, I think. Also, I didn't know until I started using the lighter that. Uh, the bats won't attack while you're using the lighter. That is a very nice detail. Ah, oh, I don't have a lock. Never mind. So is that what's gonna trigger him? I think. If not, we'll send you the clip, Lupka. It'll, we'll, we'll imagine you were here. Yeah, that's not it. That's not it. Never mind, Lupka. Thanks for staying, though, sis. Alright. Uh, what else was in the bathroom? But I don't know the code. Where's the code? Where's the code, zombie? Was it was the code somewhere? I don't even I don't remember what it was. Is that a door? Nothing useful. Electronically locked. Yes, that's what we need. I think it's gonna be upstairs. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I missed. Here we go, Lupka. I thought it was in the bathroom. That's good. It's not like the first time zombie, but it's it's pretty unknown territory. And I love it for that. <laughs> Somewhere here. <gasps> Wait, there should be a silver card under that, was it? Next to the Luger. Is it this? Yeah, it's got to be this. Hello, card. Here we go, Lupka. Here we go. Umbrella card. Check. It's got a code. An ID card for an umbrella employee. But... NTC0394. Charge! I said charge! Okay, this game is very playable, I'll say. It's so easy to control it. Even though it's tank control Resident Evil, it's the way they made it made her move. What am I why am I I'm in love with this bathroom. I think I like this bathroom. I just keep going into it, even though I don't have to. NTC 0394 was it? 0934? Show me the way. Check command. Whoa. 0394, okay. Thank you. 
N T C O three nine four right O three nine four. Then press the bullshit button. That's only for Chris. ID verification in progress. Please wait. ID verification has been confirmed. The security lock system is deactivated. Is it time? The ID card is no longer useful. Discard. Yes. Yes. I'm free. I'm free. Can I get out? Is it here? Is it now? No. Guys, does anybody remember how we how do we trigger the master of the house? Use the door. Go behind on the door. I remember it's like when you want to exit the, the house. He attacks. I'm skipping items here, trying to be fast. Ah. Yeah, that's okay. Go, Lupka. Go, be free. Right. <clears throat> okay, let's go back to um good luck. Good luck, Lubitsu. Let's go stockpile. Let me read in peace. Secretary's note. Thoi. <coughs> wait, wait, wait. We gotta have the secretary voice here. <coughs> me, 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 me. Four years have passed since I began serving Sir Alfred. He doesn't trust anyone. Even though I am his attendant, I am still strictly prohibited from entering his private house. What is his problem anyway? They say he lives with his twin sister Alexia in his private house on the hill. Occasionally, I've seen someone standing by the window of the house. It might have been Alexia, whose extreme beauty is often talked about. I once asked Sir Alfred about this, but it only enraged him. Even though I am his attendant, he will not show me any lenience. If I ask about her again, I could put my life at risk. <laughs> After all, it is a mystery why he so desperately tries to keep his private life with Alexia a secret. Oh, wait. The secretary is Robert. I guess, well, yeah, Robert, why not? You have a good voice, Robert. I thought it's the same secretary from RE2 somehow. She keeps... She's the best secretary in the world and keeps working for these jackasses. Ah, hello, item box. You're my favorite customer. So that's instead of the shotgun for her. That's instead of... Oh, that's nice. They stack. Oh, makes me a very happy guy. So let's say put them here, put that here, put that here. Then herbs above and this goes into key items somewhere here. Then take the pistolero, take this, take that. That's it. Good start, good start. Whose idea was to drink uh, sparkling water on the stream? Very bad idea. <laughs> Professional books. An old typewriter. Wait, I need my best friend. The best weapon in the game. Hello, any items here? Maybe hidden in the cracks? It's locked. There's an indentation of in the shape of two guns. Well, I just happen to have two guns here on me. Did I... I think I left the green herb back as well. So I'm gonna go... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Let's go stock up. Is there an inventory expansion in Cool Veronica, guys? I can't remember. It would make sense, because after RE2... RE2, RE3 both had one. It's locked. A silver crest is carved here. 
Yes, okay, nice, nice. Because 10, 10 inventory slots will be really good. But I'm guessing Chris is still gonna go with... With his, like, 6 slots, huh? Did he add 2 pockets? In a submarine. Okay, yes, yes, yes. There's a side pack there. Let's see if I missed something here while I was in a hurry. Yes, I did. Hello there. The toilet is made out of marble. What's the shit made of, out of them? If the toilet is made out of marble. Is shit golden? Did they, did they shit golden bricks? Was that how they were rich? A first aid spray. Nope, thank you. Do I want to go... Is it when I'm trying to leave the house or when I... I think when I get back into the house, he'll attack. A silver crest. Okay, same key. An earthenware pot. An elaborate floral design is drawn on it. Oh, there's a red. Hello, red. I'm Redfield. You're red herb. We can work together. Is there a zombie here? Just looking awkward in that... Yeah, there's something there. You know what? Better not ask questions. Yes. <laughs> what the? <laughs> the crazy movie? Oh, you gotta see the... Okay, that's what triggers it, huh? Nice, zombie. Two handguns are displayed here. Oh, I don't like this. I better go save now. Nope. It just does that sometimes. No. Combat knives are displayed here. A tank is displayed here. I'm saying that because she doesn't want to. A model fighter plane is displayed here. Visual references are placed here. Not displayed. War seems to be the primary theme. A model battleship is displayed here. Two magnums are displayed here. Well, look at all these weapons and you're not going to take any of them. Are they, are they models? Oh, ammo. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Handgun bullets. The projection screen is displayed here. A jewel modeled after an ant is displayed here. There is a button below here. Push the button here. Yes. Here we go. I don't know, maybe... Last time I played it on Xbox One, it didn't, but it could be one of the system updates. Sometimes, when they want to make newer games compatible, they break compatibility with other with older games. Like, if it's something game-breaking, they would patch it by now, and we would hear, hear about it. So it's not game-breaking, probably just dropping frames when loading something. Basically, it's just annoying, but it shouldn't be a hindrance to the stream. Creepy. That's an odd movie to have in your war room. Guns from many countries are on display here. Ooh, guns. Archaic military items are stored here. You didn't say display here. Decorations are on display here. Stop changing the way you talk. You know, nothing with the picture? Never mind. Take the steering wheel that's displayed here. I'll stop this as soon as I exit this room. This is used to steer a ship displayed here. Oh, there we go. It's a wheel used to steer a ship. It has a, a oct an octa-shaped projection. So, you're trying to say an octagonal crank would work just as well, huh? A pair of... So... I, is this a bonus cutscene? I'm gonna do it. Take them, yes. You've taken the gold boogers. No, it's not, actually. So, so it only... It, it's not really deadly. It's just Steve is a dumbass, huh? <laughs> oh, it's hot. Is this... Uh, am I taking damage from this? Well, I seem to be fine and dandy. 
There's a space where the gold lugers were placed. The grip is nicely decorated. It uses 30 luger rounds. Oh, you can use as well. Pretty cool effect. The the heat distortion. But it, you know, it <laughs> it doesn't make sense as a trap because it would destroy everything in this room, including these priceless weapons and that those are snipers are they man why don't you take the fucking sniper claire look at this that looks like a like a hey kitty jeez it looks like a garen the uh, carbine oh well well that guy's still there let's and let's end that He seems close. Yep, he's close. There you go. So, it's like one one push is 1%. That's pretty cool. That's locked. A gold crest is carved. Alright. Are you hiding any herbs, Mr. Zombie? Mr. Zombie! Wow, the game. I, I understand why why this is your favorite RE, David. It's very playable. Especially after playing RE1 <laughs> for the past three days. This is like a huge step up. But also a huge step up from RE2 and RE3 in a way. I like RE3 because it's fast. But this seems even faster, even though it doesn't have action stuff in it. Yeah, I do appreciate it way more than I did, which is good. Look, guys, as long as I don't do that with RE4, we're good. If you see me doing that with RE4, just, like, end me. I give you permission. <laughs> All right, what can, I, what can I store something? I don't need to store something. I just gotta go. No, it was actually lighter. I, I noticed today in, um, uh, when I was testing the, the Dreamcast version... So even with this, look at this. Uh, you know how I know. You know how I go like set up everything. So it's perfect <laughs> for the best picture. Please adjust the brightness of your monitor so the color bar be be below the red line is not visible. It's even a little visible. So it's <laughs> so it's you know it's it's good. I'm sorry, senpai. I just threw up in my mouth a little. Yeah, help me. Oh, dumbass. Steve? Steve? How about we'll just leave him? He's no help anyway. Father! <laughs> I like in the parody, in the code punchy they, they made. The reason why Steve is, he's got like <laughs> human connection PTSD. His, his father always told him, no. Whatever he asked him, he went, no. No. Steve is suffering. Yes! There is a message on the control panel. When two pairs complete, my anger will subside. Operate it. Yes. So two pairs, huh? There are switches. Push switch. So we gotta make two pairs. So it's like ABC. It's gonna be gun and gun. And then we have what? What's the other thing? We got a ship and a plane. I think those are pairs. The side. There's no response. Oh my god. Really? Oh wait, maybe it's a gun and a uh, gun and knife. Hold on, Steve, I can do this. But it said two pairs. That's what the fuck? That's not two pairs. Like a pair of guns? That was too close. But I found something thanks to you. Dumbass. Looks cool, huh? Oh, I need those. Give them to me. You be a good boy. Be kidding. I found it, and I'm keeping it. Fine. Let's make a deal. I'll trade you for something fully automatic. Well, that's a special request. You want me to suck your dick your while we're at player. it? Adios. He wants that, yes. Hey, wait, Steve! Dumbass and an idiot. That's like a good combo. So, you could have just put the guns back. At least he helped us with this. Blah. 
There's an indentation in the shape of two guts. <laughs> oh my god, Steve. How did you even survive this long? So what now? This is done, huh? Nothing with it. This is done as well. Well, goodbye, room. I think we're done with you. Now it's time for the master of the house. I think now he's gonna attack. I, I know I said it three times already, but man, it's so easy to control. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Faster than the speeding bullet, I told you. How dare you interfere with my operation? What are you talking about? You let yourself be captured so you could lead your people to this base. I have no idea what you're babbling about. You don't fool me. I am Alfred Ashford, commander of this base. Oh? You must be one of Umbrella's lower level officers if you're in command of a backwater base like this one. How dare you! <laughs> hey, Delmar. The Ashford family is among the world's first and finest. My grandfather is one of the original founders of Umbrella Inc. Now tell me, why have you attacked this installation? Attacked? Shortly after you arrived, my base was attacked. You must have informed your people of its location. I still don't follow you. I really don't know anything about that. Unacceptable! How can you deny it? My base has been destroyed. <laughs> and thanks to you, the experimental T-Virus was released, creating countless zombies and monsters. Zombies and, and monsters. Because zombies are not monsters. Who do you work for? Who sent you? Where's the fucking laser coming off from your optics? Is that a Have thing? It your way, then. You're just a rat in a cage anyway. I'll be sure to keep you entertained before I dispose of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alfred. Oh, Alfred, you make this game so good. Also, Senpai, I threw, threw up in my mouth again. You, you said yeah, I'm a pro at RE4. I just couldn't. I needed time to digest it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty good that's a pretty good connection you made there all right there's more herbs look at that exactly what we need C -c 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 combo herbo wait is there more thank you lighter should i no actually i'll have three slots it'll be fine it'll be fine Can I even... I... Oh, we'll find out. Here we go. Submarine time. How are you doing, Delmar? Sorry, I was focusing on the cutscene and listening to our lord and savior. Alf. I like calling... I like Alf. Senpai, I'm using that now. Alf. <laughs> if he were cool, probably his buddies would call him something like that. Hey, Alf, toss that beer over here. But Alf never had a beer. <gasps> map! Thank you. I like maps. The palace map. You've taken the palace. It's not a palace. It's a mansion. You can use the word mansion. It's not copyrighted by RE1. No yet? Not yet. There's an octagonal hollow. Spring. Use the steering wheel? Yeah, because that's how you use the steering wheel. <laughs> it's great. I'm enjoying these RE games. I don't know what took me... So why did it take me so long to start the, an RE marathon? But here we are. <laughs> And I'm enjoying it a lot. Sometimes it's better not to have many changes, you know? There it is. Yeah, as much as, like, I praise the animations and everything in this game, this is very awkward. Look at her feet. 
They're not even moving. <laughs> this is a side pack. You can carry more items if you equip this. Equip the side pack. See, because Chris is allergic to these. She had to teach him. Yes, 10 items. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Mwah! That's wonderful. Useless submarine. There's a lever. Move the lever. Lever, lever. Oh no, not the loading screen. Why does it have to load there? Does it do that on the Dreamcast? David, I've seen like 50 Code Veronica files um, <laughs> on the Dreamcast memory cards. Not 50, but there was a lot of them. So I'm imagining you, you've beat this game up, down, left, right, sideways. Oh, that's wonderful. Look at that. Totally pointless and uh, pointlessly expensive, but man, it's beautiful. Brr, more heat, more heat. Heat me up the best you can. So yeah, max, then a little back. There you go. All right. The water effects are gorgeous. Nothing there, huh? Not even in the corner. Huh. I guess I walked into another party. So you're the last guy. You're the last man standing. What you got to say for yourself? Well, I guess not much. You don't see now loading on a DC. Yeah, I don't know why. Maybe because they changed the engine, so it behaves a little differently. They did port it to a whole new engine. That is amazing. Hello, Grza. Zdravo, Grzo, brate moi. You missed... Yeah, I did it yesterday. So I finished it with Chris. It took longer than I thought it would, because apparently I didn't remember more game, more of the game than I thought. I, I misremembered more... Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but... Then I played some battle game. That was really cool. I want to do a special stream for the battle game. So there will be more. Saturn says. Don't be sad, buddy. Yeah, you have the VOD. And like everything I do uh, after a few days is published on YouTube as well. So it's not going anywhere. Don't worry. I'm glad you're interested. That's flattering. They're not moving because Claire. Claire just used super tech. Shoes with wheel, you just don't know. <laughs> yeah, the red fields are something, aren't they? So nothing on the table? Wait, my best friend. I love you. Stay with me, lighter. I'm gonna exchange the lighter for something else later, am I? Oh. Something behind the couch? Something little? No. What about the fishies? I checked the fishies. Nothing to say about them. Ink ribbon, we'll get it on the way back. Oh wait, that works? Okay, but I think it doesn't lead anywhere. There should be a bridge, a broken bridge or something. Yeah. Wait, it's not... Huh. Is it gonna move when I start walking? No, it's not moving. Well, that's odd. Oh, you can keep going. What about the door? I should have checked the door. I wonder where the door went. I thought this was closed and the door goes somewhere. Ah, the elevator room. That's right, that's right. Because we don't have a map of this. Each building has its own map. Which, again, I like that. More maps. The first floor, humongous. Second floor, pff, fuck the second floor. We're never gonna climb the stairs. Yes, I remember now. So I should have gone back first to get rid of this, but it's a control P panel for the shutter. The markings above the keyhole read K402. Wait, how do I? It's completely blocked by the load. You are a load. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, I have to use... Yeah, that's right. I have to use the, the giant claw. Ooh. To get it. Bring, bring. 
Move the lever. Lever? Lever? Oh, it's just like... Is it a game? That's not how these things work. Okay, I, I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> That's how a claw machine works. An actual construction... No, you can, you can do it as many times as you want. But it was made by Umbrella, so... I guess it had to be a game. A puzzle in itself. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> You're our new crane operator here at Umbrella Co Companies. <laughs> corporation are you ready to learn how to operate a crane <laughs> it's a puzzle <laughs> you gotta know how to handle this left right up down wait are you for claw machine there's a i don't remember that Control panel for the elevator bridge. The control lever is missing. Okay. Yeah, that's the, that's why I thought the bridge was broken. You gotta lift it up. Nothing else here. Bye. Yeah, it is. I mean, we love these games. We know they're ridiculous sometimes. But even with all the ridiculousness, a lot of people like these more than, than you know, the modern REs that they make. I, I, I say that all the time. I think they, they were going somewhere with RE7, but then they took a giant dump on, on all of it. They were like, nah, we want to make it less playable. We want to make it fan fiction. It's control panel for the loading lift. The warning sign is visible. The lift may not operate if power levels are low. Move the lever. Oh, oh shit. Are they gonna... Oh, they're gonna come right here, are they? Oh, man. Oh, I remember these guys. Oh, it's just like four of them. I can... <gasps> what the move? Are you crazy? Oh, this because of that? Really? Was that... Is that why we did this? You gotta like how she was just observing them. That's... That's all, folks. Okay, uh, see, this is a part where explosive arrows or a shotgun would have come in handy. Whoa! Oh my god! What should I do? Down, boy. You too. Wow, thank you for cooperating. Down. I said down, down. Listen to your brothers. What, you're gonna do something? Really? I would love to see that. Not today, though. Was it worth it? <laughs> I don't think it was. Oh, wait, there's something. There's a key item. Yeah, that, it was worth it. Biohazard car. Okay. So, you like tooting your own horn game, do you? What is the biohazard? I think it's the silver car. Card key shining in silver. You can use this at the military training facility. So if it's for the military training facility, how do these like non-military people get get to it, huh? I guess you can't. Yeah, you can't move it sideways. Can't read shit here. I tried, game. I really tried to read your puzzles. Okay, we gotta. No, you can do it. <laughs> you can do it. If you be keep practicing, we'll send you to the Olympics. Come on. You can do it. You're the best crawling crawler I've ever seen. Keep at it. And you'll get places. Probably probably the morgue. Well, no morgue. No morgue for you, buddy. This is your life now. To crawl forever. Keep, keep checking these blind spots to see if there's anything there I take it what's the worst that can happen You can't jump over that? Yeah, I remember this. It's silly. Look at that. You could totally get over that, Claire. 
I mean, clear. All right. This device powers the boarding lift. Push the switch. So there's a plane. She didn't even react. Like normal person would get in there and be like, "Oh my God, a plane! I can, I can escape." Rebecca would say something funny, but Claire, she's like motionless. Possibly a control system off the airport. Okay. Look, guys, I have light. Don't fuck with me. Okay. Here we go. Apparently, a control panel for the lift. That's the second time she's using that. Like apparently a dust box. What else could it be? This is a little more ambiguous, but still. It won't work. Something seems to be missing. Well. Is it this? Navy proof. A hex-shaped stone object. A picture of a submarine is carved on it. Oh, it's like, yeah, all the armies. What does it say? It doesn't... Why don't you read what it says there? Special... Something... F oh, my God. Hmm. You know what? There you go. And then I'll 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 zoom it on the computer. <laughs> I'll zoom it in. But yeah, that's what we need. Wait, what do you mean not? Yeah, that's what I meant. Okay. There you go. Was well, anything in this? No. Bye. Is there health hidden? No. I keep thinking now, because I started finding stuff with the lighter, that it's going to be in every corner. A charge! Gorgeous, just gorgeous. So smooth. Can you skip this? Nope. That's very weird. Why shouldn't you be able to skip it? Not like it's loading or anything while it's doing that. Obviously it loaded before it. Hi there, hello. Rusted construction materials. But wait, is this like a military research base island or is it a construction yard? Because were they expanding the island? Can you even expand the island? Beautiful architecture as always. If they know how to do something in these Resident Evil games, it's the architecture. As much as I, you know, as much as I spit on the RE8, I do like the architecture in the game. Is it time? Is it time for the sexiest of all the... No, it's not. That's later. Wait, what did I get? Oh yeah, the biohazard card. Which will take me where? Let's pack some shit up. One, two, three, four. A hip and a scop. A scop? I meant a hip and a, a skip and a skip and a hop. <laughs> a hip and a scop. Well, there you have it. Well, it's a nice biohazard card you got there. Would be a shame if something were to happen to it. But I'll just use the the regular ones. Holy shit, look how many there there is. Uh, 200. Yeah, they're not really powerful without the explosive, but still. Let's do this. Okay. There you go. Nice and easy. A hip in the scope. Here we go. Hippy skippy. Damn, brown. 
Brown put that in my head. <laughs> he likes to rhyme my name every time we talk. He doesn't say, hey, hi there, Mateo, or whatever. He says, he, he is rhyming, hippy skippy, lippy dippy. The scary gate. It's burnt. it's nailed down from the inside. Can't open it. Where would that lead? Military training facility. So that would lead. Oh, is that? Yeah, I think that's what's the. Where is it now? Where I'm looking at. It should be. I think it's this. No, just above it. This. Fuck can go to the room I haven't been to. Too bad. This room I haven't been to to the left. I think that's what where it would lead. Any hidden herbs here? No. Dude, it's the no touchy guy. I told you, no touchy. Why do you keep hounding me? Oh, never mind. He's, he's in his own world. Let's go get that herb. Was it only the herb I forgot? I mean, forgot. I didn't pick up. It was straight. Then over the fire. And then down. I like how she's holding a lighter amidst the fire. <laughs> so I'm guessing that gate that's on fire would have led up to the mansion. That it makes sense. Like some kind of a cargo elevator, maybe? Who knows? Ooh, ho 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 ho. Oh shit, is it time? I thought about this and I thought, ah, it's not for a while yet. Dude, stop screaming. So suddenly we're in Dune, huh? Ah, oh, Jesus fuck. Stop that. Simple light. So is that like Gravedigger's cousin? And if the virus just leaked, why are they already... Wait, this one's not silver in color? Oh, ventilation of biology biology room. <laughs> Luck can be released when ventilation is complete. Okay, I mean, it's your show game. I don't get to decide shit here, so... Beep. No, I seem to remember about forgetting... Yeah, I didn't pick up one of the stacks. Fuck. I'll check this room, but I gotta check outside as well, so I don't forget that stack. Yeah, I got this one. Of um, And the herb. There's an herb right next to him. That's right. There's this one. Gotta remember all the items I left behind. Could be useful later. Easy does it, sir. I don't want to step on your toes. Well, maybe toes. I don't want to step on your head. There's nothing there. I don't know why I keep thinking something will pop up. I will need the lockpick for the desk later, but that's about it. Let's try to grab those um, bolts outside without dying. He can't insta-kill you, I think. I don't remember him ever doing that. There you go. <gasps> Charge! Whoa! Shriek. So I've been everywhere there. Everywhere there. Now I need to go to the right. And I should be at... Oh, is it time for the other elf cutscene?
Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, probably there is. I think it's doing that when it's loading cutscenes in the background. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it's got something to do with cutscenes, definitely. You good? Yeah, there we go. No, oh, not yet. Well, he had about 15 chances to kill her by now, right? Ah. Ah. So I need to run, right? I mean, if I remember, I just need to reach the stairs and he can suck it. Chargerino. Not the fire! Oh, did you miss me before because of the fire? That's pretty cool. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come There's an annotation of the indigo blue plate. Okay, we'll need that. Just a bit later. Relief is carved. It looks very old. It's locked from the other side. Too bad we can't see the entire relief. Wait, if I go down now... Fine and dandy. There is no yellow fine here, is there? I can go to the basement though, cool. I could swear there's something in that corner, see that? I think it's just a texture error. Not error, but more like when you upscale textures and they kind of break at the seams. Why is it, why is it heart beating so, so fast? Oh shit. Oh, okay. It's garbage day, I forgot to... I mean, I, I did it earlier, so... So no need to do it now. Carlet Reader, silver in color. Okay, sure. Is there a save room somewhere here, if I remember, right? There should be a save room here later, right? Or right now, actually, hold on. I do have a map. No, that's not the map button. Shit. I pressed X by accident. There it is. There's this area. Yeah, okay. Good memory. Good memory. Nice. Weed everywhere. These guys are sure know how to party. Chemostatic. There you go. I guess George was around. Zombie, you like Code Veronica, right? I didn't ask, I'm sorry. I assume you do because it's one of the last the work this the week's work schedule is written here. One of the last great Resident Evils. Work clothes are hung here. They must have spent their off hours here. That's it. Yeah. That was a really good period, the year two thousand to two thousand. Five. We got Code Veronica, RE1 Remake, RE0, Outbreak, and Outbreak File 2. We got five excellent games. So they could release 10 RE4s as far as I'm concerned. You can't ruin these. Well, they could if they did a shitty port, but they did a phenomenal port, so we're grateful. I'm gonna bring this. You know, I think it would be smart to bring it. I'm gonna drop the hemostatic here with the key items for later. What else? That's it. Bring the bow gun. Oh, I will bring. Hmm. I'll bring the explosive arrows for the bander snatch. I know there will be a bander snatch. Kitty, please. My legs are made of flesh. Leaves me with only four <laughs> slots. Well, I'll try to listen to David. He has that strategy. So that's it. Just take the ink ribbon. I'll save here. That's enough for today. I got a. I got my driving test uh, retry tomorrow morning. So I want to be fresh for that. 
One thing, I wanna check the team static. Did it say anything about it? Okay, you, you can go page up down. Nice, I love that. Wrong item. Medicine that is used to stop the bleeding. It should be used on someone who is wounded. A wink wink. Good. This is the, I think this is the furthest I've ever gone in CV without saving. So this is one of the, one game where I never got the S rank. Or anything above B, I think. You can save your progress with this. Use an ink ribbon? Yes. 15 saves. There you go. And that's the, so that's from 2014, 15. And this is my uh, 2020, 2019 um, uh, attempt. I'm gonna go with this one for now, I guess. Number two. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let's see who we can raid. Good night, Senpai. Thanks, everyone, for being here. It's a great game, called Veronica, I say. I'm kind of glad I didn't appreciate it earlier, because now it's, like Zombie says, it's almost like the first time. Save successful. There you go. Bye! Bye. Wait, not not you. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> but bye, everyone else. <laughs> okay. Obs no, not observe. Uh, my finger automatically went to observe. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, I forgot. I turned off my internet. <laughs> There we go. Whoop. There we go. Reloading. Today, while the people are here, I would like to raid someone. Please, Twitch. You can do it. You can do it! Come on! Come on! We need to raid someone! Come on! Here we go. It loaded. Stupid Twitch. Bye, David. Have a good night, my brother. Who's doing what? Test me, Steam World, Overwatch. Let's raid Dirty. Dirty's doing art. Is it. Oh, it looks like. Oh, he's doing RE1. I, that's that's re one art. So yeah, or dirty. I haven't seen dirty in a while. So say hi to my friend dirty. My sister has dirty, <laughs> and um, I'll see you all tomorrow with episode three. It should be fine. I, I do have the driving test. Bye. It could take all day, but oh, welcome back, Lupka. But uh, I don't know. I could be the first. I could be the last. So we. I I, I don't know. So yeah, tomorrow. It shouldn't last uh, up to this time, definitely. So, we should have episode 2 tomorrow. Till next time, everyone. Bye!